on january 5 isro achieved a milestone it successfully tested a space fuel cell that is designed for power generation in space it is known as a 100 watt polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cell power system it was placed in the PSLV Orbital Experimental Module 3 and launched along with the PSLV C-58 rocket on January 1. Why is this breakthrough noteworthy? In the past, space missions heavily relied on alkaline fuel cells known as AFC to produce electricity, heat and drinkable water. NASA used AFC during Apollo missions. However, AFCs have a downside. Their electrolyte solution was quite corrosive, leading to shorter lifespan for their electrodes. This is where the use of polymer electrolyte membrane type of fuel cell kicks in. They only need hydrogen, oxygen and water to operate. They can function at lower temperatures, which means they will start quickly and experience less wear on their parts. It makes them more durable than AFCs. And the best part is that despite the lighter weight and smaller size, they can deliver higher power output for relatively lower input. During the short duration experiment by ISRO, the fuel cell produced 180 watts of power with the help of hydrogen and oxygen gases stored on board in high pressure vessels. This achievement is a remarkable milestone in space exploration. The significance? These fuel cells are pivotal in space for various reasons. They are efficient, produce no emissions and can supply essential water during missions with humans on board. ISRO has ambitious missions in the pipeline, including Gaganyaan, India's inaugural human test flight program. Looking ahead, as ISRO sets its sights on establishing the Bharatiya Space Station by 2035, these fuel cell success could be a crucial element in shaping the future of India's orbital laboratory. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.